Hello, in this video, we will explain the special assessment scheme issued by CBSE for 2022 exam for class 10th and 12th. This year, CBSE could not conduct the board exams due to pandemic situation. To ensure that they are better prepared, CBSE has come up with special assessment scheme for board exam for 2022. They have taken different possible scenarios into consideration and have come up with Plan A, Plan B, Plan C and even a Plan D for worst case scenario. So let's understand the revised assessment policy as it is very important for you to build your strategy and change your study plan accordingly. CBSE has taken two important decisions. First is that they will have reduced or rationalized syllabus like they had declared last year with similar 30% reduction. Second is that they have divided the yearly exam into two terms, Term 1 and Term 2, with 50% syllabus in each term. Before we explain these two important CBSE decisions, we need to first see what are the steps they are taking to fix the issue they faced around internal assessment this year. CBSE has realized that they need to strengthen and standardize the internal assessment practical project work to make it more credible and valid. So this year, they have mandated the schools to create a student profile. Now what is the student profile? It will contain all assessment details undertaken by the student over the year and it will make sure this evidence is available in digital format to check anytime. These internal assessments will happen throughout the year and for class 10, it will include the three periodic tests, student enrichment, portfolio and practical work, speaking listening activities or project as applicable for the subject. For class 12, it will include end of topic or unit tests, exploratory activities, practicals, projects, etc. again as applicable for subject. To help schools in this, CBSE board will release guidelines for internal assessment and also provide additional resources like sample assessments, question banks, teacher training, etc. to make it more reliable. So important takeaway from this is that you need to study throughout the year. Each and every internal test your school gives matters. Now let's come back to academic year 2021-22 and see how they have divided it into two terms, Term 1 and Term 2. CBSE will conduct two exams now. Term 1 exam in November-December 2021 timeframe and Term 2 exam in March-April 2022 timeframe. Both will have 50% of the overall syllabus and Term 2 will not repeat any of the syllabus from Term 1, so you do not have to study it again. Now, Term 1 exam will happen in your school, but Term 2 exam will happen in centers assigned by the board, which is the regular normal scenario. In both cases, the paper will be made by CBSE and they will be supervised by the CBSE folks. Now, the duration of the Term 1 test will be 90 minutes, and it will have only MCQ questions. These questions can be case study based or assertion reasoning type. They will test whether you have really understood the topic. The duration of term 2 test will be 2 hours and it is a written offline test. It will have questions of different formats like case or situation based MCQs, short answer and long answer type questions basically the normal exam format. So for this test, you need to prepare differently than term 1. They also have a plan B here, which is if for some reason they are not able to hold the test, then they will switch to 90 minute MCQ test similar to term 1. Now since term 1 is just MCQ questions, students will mark OMR sheets and those can be uploaded as is or the school is also given marking scheme and they can upload the results. For term 2, as it is normally done, the paper will be checked and evaluated by CBSE only. Now we have understood internal assessment, term 1 exam and term 2 exam. How will it be used to calculate the final board result? 
Here board has gone to great length to come up with plan A, plan B, plan C and even a plan D. They certainly are coming in prepared this time. So plan A is that everything is normal. You all would be able to go to school for term 1 MCQs and test centers for term 2 exam. In that case, your marks is sum of term 1 marks plus term 2 marks, 50% weightage each. Plan B is the situation that due to Corona, schools do not open in November-December. In that case, board will allow term 1 exam to be done from home. It assumes situation improves by March and you will be able to go to test centers to give the term 2 exam. But now the weightage of term 1 will be reduced and term 2 will increase. They have not declared the person split yet but will declare it later. Now let's see plan C which is reverse situation of plan B. Means you are able to go to your schools for term 1 MCQ exam but the term 2 exams are cancelled. Then results will be based upon internal assessment and term 1 MCQs. Plan D is if both term 1 and term 2 exams are taken by students from home then results will be based upon internal assessment, practical, project work and marks of term 1 and term 2 exams. On top of it, they can apply moderation or other measures to ensure validity and reliability of the assessment. So this explains the revised assessment scheme of CBSE. In our next video, I will explain the revised syllabus as per term 1 and term 2 and how you should plan your studies. Thank you and goodbye.